What does it take to protect the honor of a royal family? In the case of Princess Krishna Kumari, it took the sacrifice of her own life. This tragic tale of a young Rajput princess reveals the dark and twisted ideologies hidden in India's colonial past. Lost to the archives of wartime history, her story deserves to be told. So join me as we unravel the shocking events that led to the untimely demise of Princess Krishna Kumari. Once upon a time, in the land of Mewar, a baby girl was born to a great king named Rana Bhim Singh. When she was just a little girl, her father promised her hand in marriage to a man named Raja Bhim Singh of Marwar, who shared the same name as her father. But sadly, Raja Bhim Singh passed away when Krishna Kumari was only nine years old. Her father then wanted to find her a new husband and so he arranged for her to be engaged to Jagat Singh, the king of Amber. However, Man Singh, the brother of Krishna Kumari's deceased betrothed, believed that he had the right to marry her now that his brother had died. Man Singh wanted to challenge Jagat Singh for Krishna Kumari's hand in marriage. Things escalated quickly. The Marathas got involved and the Shindes and Holkars started fighting. The Pathan Amir Khan Pindari of Tonk was initially on Jagat Singh and Holkar's side, but then he switched over to Man Singh's side when he was offered more money. All of this fighting and drama caught the attention of the East India Company, who were watching from afar. They saw how much the people of Rajputana were willing to sacrifice lives and resources for a fair princess. Krishna Kumari was at the center of the conflict, with her life hanging in the balance. In 1810, when she was only 16 years old, Amir Khan invaded Udaipur and destroyed its villages. He gave her father an ultimatum, marry her off to Man Singh or put her to death. Rana Bhim Singh had no choice but to choose the latter, as marrying his daughter to Man Singh would have been a serious blot on Udaipur's royal family. Historically, Krishna Kumari has been depicted as a brave and self-sacrificing figure, willingly drinking the poison administered to her by Amir Khan. Krishna was merely a tool of aggression, used to further the male egos of her suitors and father. Unfortunately, they played right into the hands of colonial stratagem and the war for the princess's hand ultimately drained the collective resources of Rajputana. The story of Princess Krishna Kumari is a tragic reminder of the cost of honor and the destructive power of colonialism. Her untimely death has been largely forgotten by history, buried under the weight of cultural shame. But her legacy serves as a warning against the ideologies of possession and aggression that still plagues society today. Let us not forget the lessons of her life and death and strive for a future where such tragedies are no longer necessary.